Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you all for sure. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome you guys. Happy to have you before you leave. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And if this is your second or third time, welcome back. For those that you know about me, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC. We're a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, uh, if this is your first or second time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Definitely hit the subscribe button before you leave. Today is Monday, so happy Monday to you all out there. Uh, on Mondays, you guys, we drop our motivational content, and so this one is no different. Well, yeah, it will be a little different because it's the, you know, Black History Month, so this one, you know, it'll be in tune and dedication for those, you know, of the culture and, and people that's a part of it, you know, that's inspired by, it, you know, uh, this is one for you. And so, um, and also last week I came by, you know, doing a little research and I came across, you know, this dope theory and concept and it made me look at myself and think, you know, uh, where it is, where I lack, where it comes from within myself when it comes to motivation and what keeps me going. And uh, I came across what's called the locus of uh, control theory. Uh, yeah, that's what it's called, Contro locus of control theory. And uh, it's to where it has two parts to that theory. It's called the external and then the internal. And so what the external is, is to is the thought and the theory behind to where, uh, well, first off, let me get a little background. I have a video that I came across I want to share with you guys. But in essence of that video, what I found is a uh, uh, study was conducted in 98 with a group of students, uh, group, uh, a group of students that were told that they were smart and uh, they were very, very uh, uh, high ranking when it comes to intellect. And then there was another group of uh, kids that they took and told them that they were hard workers and they put them, uh, gave them a test to do. You'll see it in the video. Uh, but in essence of what the, um, that conclusion of that theory showed is that uh, those group of kids that were told that they were smart, uh, over time, they, they became less motivated, lazy, and, and uh, didn't feel that they needed to thrive as opposed to the group of kids that were told that they were hard workers when it comes to doing the tasks those were the ones who felt motivated uh, adventured out to do other things and, and were able to achieve um, more of the goals over time and so uh, then that's where it comes in with the external and the internal uh, so for those that are external uh, locus uh, control those are the ones that believe that they feel they're smart or they don't have to you know try as much because they have god-given talents uh, over time that's where they lose the motivation and the consistency and the discipline to do things and achieve their goals as opposed to those who you know get up and do things and are told that they're hard workers and believe in working hard uh, those are at the time uh, they achieve their goals and accomplishment and it's they able to stay motivated uh, longer and so uh, that's where they have the internal and the external uh, locus of control theories without you know me uh, trying to explain it a little bit more let me go ahead and drop this video i found it's by skillshare uh, uh they they break it down a little bit better than i do so check it out and when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in this world yeah here it is a study was conducted in 1998 at Columbia University by a professor, Claudia M. Mueller. She took a large group of fifth graders and had them work on numerous puzzles by themselves. Now, these were very challenging puzzles, but regardless of how well each child did, he or she was told that they scored very well, that they did better than most of the other kids. Afterwards, half of these students were told that they scored high because they worked hard while the other half were told that it was all because they were smart and gifted. Then they presented each student with three more types of puzzles to work on. Easy ones, medium difficulty ones, and extremely challenging ones. And what they found was very interesting. The students who were told that they did well because they were smart spent the majority of their time on the easy puzzles. They spent almost no time on the extremely challenging puzzles and spent much less time overall trying to solve any of the puzzles which was a sign of lower levels of motivation. And to top it all off, when asked whether or not they enjoyed the experiment, they said that it wasn't that fun for them. On the other hand, the students who were told that they did well because they worked hard spent the majority of their time focused on the harder puzzles. They also spent a lot more time overall attempting to solve any of the puzzles, which was a sign of an increase in levels of motivation. And to top it all off, after the experiment, they said that they actually enjoyed the entire experience. 
So what can we learn from this study? Well, there's a concept called the locus of control, which is essentially the degree to which you believe you have control over your life. The kids who were told that they did well because they were smart and gifted were led to believe in what's called an external locus of control. They were led to believe that factors outside of what they could control were the reason they did well, right? You can't control whether or not you're born smart. On the other hand, the kids who were told they did well because they worked hard started to believe in what's called an internal locus of control. They believed that it was factors they controlled that led to their outcomes. It was their hard work and their extra effort that allowed them to do well on the puzzles, right? Because how much work you put into something is something that you have complete control over. Now, studies on the locus of control like this one have found time and time again that having an internal locus of control is the key to staying motivated. You must feel like you have control over your life and that you are responsible for the things that happen to you if you want to feel motivated all of the time. I saw this happen with my own eyes back in the day when I was in charge of a sales team. This wasn't retail sales or car sales. This was old school door to door sales, which has one of the highest turnover rates. Most people only last a week before quitting. See, you need to be an extremely motivated individual to be able to face hundreds and hundreds of rejections every single day before someone even considers buying something from you. Now, over time, I was able to develop a keen eye for who would actually last, who I should spend more time and energy training. All I had to do was ask a simple question when a new salesperson on my team was confronted with their first bad day, a day in which they made no sales. I would ask them, why do you think you made no sales today? And I would see how they would respond. If they blame things like the weather, the fact that it's a weekend and nobody wants to be bothered on the weekends, or because it was the neighborhood, I would instantly know that they wouldn't last because they had an external locus of control. They believed that the reason they couldn't make any sales was because of factors outside of their control. And because of this, they spent less time knocking on doors, which was ultimately the real reason why they weren't making any sales. That's the curse of having an external locus of control. When you feel like nothing you do matters, you stop working. You stop trying. Because what's the point of trying when the world's conspiring against you, right? So how do we adopt an internal locus of control so that we can start feeling motivated all of the time? Well, they found that the best way to do so is by simply solving problems in your own life and then taking some time and appreciating the fact that it was your actions that solved this problem. I'll give you an example just to make things more clear. Let's say you're someone who struggles with falling asleep. So you go do some research and you find out if you get some more sunlight in the morning, if you only use your bed for sleeping, and if you install a blue light filter on your phone, that should drastically increase your ability to sleep faster when bedtime comes around. You do all of those things and lo and behold, you find yourself sleeping 15 minutes faster than before. When you notice this improvement, you need to say to yourself, wow, it was because of the changes I made, because of the effort I put in that I am now able to sleep better. It's that simple. Build up that belief that you are in control of your destiny, that you have an internal locus of control, and you will never have issues with motivation in your life again. This episode is brought to you with the help of the guys at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and much, much more. If there's something you want to learn and improve on, chances are there's a class on that exact subject on Skillshare. Click on the link in the description box below to get a two-month free trial, after which it will only cost $10 a month to remain a member. I suggest you guys to check out the Productivity Today course, which essentially teaches you ways to increase and improve your attention span, which we all know needs to be worked on. Taking this course will allow you to focus and get more things done, which is a great way to develop that internal locus of control so you will feel even more motivated in the future. So I definitely recommend you guys to check it out. Besides that, guys, stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video from Skillshare, uh, breaking down the locus of control theory, uh, talking about internal and external uh, locus of control. And, and uh, as you guys seen, uh, they explained it a lot, lot better than I did in the beginning uh, with the kids uh, doing the test. And over time, as you've seen, those who you know were told that they were hard workers or believed that you know they, that the work that they put in uh, is what brought on their success, they were able to you know go further and longer to stay motivated and so um, 
and, and summation and my thought included in that uh, theory is that those, you know, in essence, you would rather much be an uh, internal uh, locus of control theory person than an external because those that are believing that they have God-given talents are told that they're smart and, and don't have to try over time, you know, that goes to your head to where, you know, you don't, you know, have to have that motivation. You feel like, oh, it'll come to me naturally so I don't have to, you know, work at it. I don't have to practice uh, as opposed to a person, you know, who, who has to put in the work and practices over time, day in and day night, and they get, be they get better and better at it. They stay motivated longer, and so you would much rather be an uh, internal locus of control theory type of person than an external, uh, in my opinion. Um, uh, and I think uh, an external uh, locus person is has a, a short-term gain and long-term loss. Uh, and so, and I also seen it, like I said, I've seen this, I came across this a couple of weeks ago, and so I've seen in my personal life how, you know, when I do things and I take the initiatives, you know, even when it comes to like cleaning up around the house, like I said in the video, you know, taking out the trash, doing my bed, cleaning out my closet, I do feel good about myself. I have a sense of accomplishments and feeling like, you know, what else can I take care of next? Or what else can I accomplish next? So I do notice that, you know, that trend as well as, you know, when you go to sleep on time and you wake up earlier, you're able to get a lot more done. I have felt the, the, the text of that. Now, my problem is where it comes in for me is the consistency. Uh, sometimes, you know, I can keep it going for a while, but then one day, you know, I'll be lazy and then that just breaks the, 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 the spell for me, right? Or excuse me, the, the routine for me. And so keeping it going, that's where I'm at when it comes to battling, you know, consistency. Uh, but the thing of it is, I'm not giving up. I'm going to say to keep, even when you, you have a problem with consistency, but yeah, you keep going, you keeping it consistent, in my opinion. And so, um, I've been working on that, and uh, I hope you guys uh, that along with me in this journey, you know, when it comes to achieving greatness, you guys are working it as well. Yeah, if you got some external ways you need to work on and, and build on your internal uh, locus of control, do that. Um, I definitely encourage you guys to check out Skillshare. They have some more informative videos for you guys uh, when it comes to like businesses and designs as well as the tools, I, I believe. So check them out. Uh, definitely want to give them some clout and credit to where it's due. Um, also, if you guys enjoyed watching this video and my opinions on it and want to share yours, you can do so by hitting that like button, commenting, sharing my videos, and definitely subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Also, don't forget, you can go to my website, differenceworld.net, and you can check me out on all my other social media handles, my Twitter, Instagram, uh, as well as my YouTube uh I'm on YouTube now, but my TikTok. I know I'm on Facebook, you guys, so that is what it is with that. Uh, but don't forget, you can also book me for any type of motivational speaking events you would like for me to be a part of. I'm free of charge as of now. You just have to go to my website, differentworld.net, and book me. Also, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is available now too on my website, differentworld.net. It's a great time to get you a copy of it. Black History Month 2023. This book that I've written, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, is a book that is written to encourage and, uh, and, and, and promote thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So be advised that it's intended for a mature audience. And so if you can't take this type of heat, then do not come, well, I usually say do not, but I, I'm gonna say come to the kitchen because that's the point of it all is to have those conversations that need to be had. Uh, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, embarrassed, or ashamed, you know, there's power, you know, when it, you can heal from your past, when you talk about it, take accountability and acknowledgement and you talk about ways you know that you create systemic change and so that is why you know one of the main points of me writing the book and so again go to my website differencewell.net and get your copy of my book what if a controversial paradigm shift yep all right you guys uh moving right along on the different train what else we got going on in difference for you guys tomorrow is tuesday um uh, valentine's day or aka social singles awareness day and so uh maybe dropping a vlog for that you guys i've got to figure out how i want to tune that because uh if, if so i want to by saying i'm being a hater or i'm hating on people out there that's all lovey-dovey but um it is what it is and so be able to look out for that you guys that's why you gotta hit that notification button so when i drop these content you come into different world and you come and learn what what's going on yeah
area. But in any case, before we close out, or the last uh, close out, let's do a mental health check uh, for those out there that may need it, like myself, uh, to know that it, whatever you're going through in life, be it any type of mental anguish, be it depression, bullying, uh, feeling suicidal, anxiety attacks, whatever the case may be, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but never, ever, ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever the case may be, be it talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, uh, picking up hobbies, mending broken bridges, you know, cut people off from me in a well, even getting on medication if that's what it, what it takes to keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you or if you know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share them with them. Uh, the crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. Uh, you are, you can text 988 or 741741. Or if you prefer to go online, you can visit mentalhealthishealth.us or 988lifeline.org. For those that are outside of the U.S. or in other countries, you can visit encounseling.com. Again, that's spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And remember to do your own homework. Uh, even though I'm giving you these resources, it's on you to find what works best for you. Because, again, you are the captain of your own ship. You decide to navigate the waters. It's on you. Okay? And also, don't forget that whatever you're going through, this too shall pass and you are not alone. So if it takes you, you know, reaching out to somebody for some help and talking about your problems, do that. Um, also, so, uh, <laughs> excuse me, um, we're going to close out with that. <laughs> Moving on uh, and close out of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Uh, as well as don't forget when it comes to you and going after your uh, uh, greatness, don't forget whatever it is in life that you are feeling you're destined for it. You have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if at 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.